All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about animation for making web comics and comic book trailers. And we're going to focus on smart objects. Smart objects are the foundation of any animation that you're going to do. What is a smart object? Well, a smart object basically is like taking your layer and wrapping it up and packaging it and saving it somewhere else so that the original file is always uh, intact. And then you can modify the layer and do all sorts of stuff. You can stretch it, you can pull it, and you're never destroying the original file. You're never ruining the pixels like you are when you uh, modify a regular layer. The layer is saved somewhere else in, in Photoshop's memory banks, and then you're just kind of stretching and altering and pulling and transforming uh, a, a version of it. All right? And that is what allows you to do all sorts of cool stuff in Photoshop animation. So let's get to it. So if you want to do more stuff in Photoshop with your characters, you have to convert to Smart Object. When you convert to Smart Object, your layer here is going to close, and when you reopen it, you're going to get more things. You're going to get transform, opacity, and style. Okay. What does that mean? Well, before, you used to be able to move left and right, up and down. It, right here, it said position. Now it says transform, so you can do other stuff. For smart objects, you hit one of the buttons, one of the corners, or the center once, and then you get an X. That's how you know it's a smart object. So don't try to immediately edit it. you got to click it once, get these two to pop up. So let's say... Starting at one second, we want to transform. So I hit it. Go to two seconds. Move her, but I can also enlarge her. And now, Althea will get bigger. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, you can squash stuff. Okay. That works. So you can squash stuff with transform. Okay. Now, unfortunately, you cannot command click a corner and stretch it. It won't work. It won't stretch like that. Okay. It does this weird thing, okay? So you can't do that. So I'm going to hit transform. I'm going to play around with it again. Hit transform after two seconds. You can make her grow. Now let's see. If you hit command and go like this, is it going to work? Yeah, it works. So that's pretty cool. So, what are the rules? You can hit Command and hit the middle one and stretch back and forth, swing back and forth all you want. Okay? You just can't command the corner and get that to work. All right? What else can you do? Okay. After one and a half seconds, hit transform, move over to two and a half seconds. You can spin. So I can rotate like this. And now look, it rotates. One of the coolest things is that start from scratch, hit the stopwatch, move it over a second. I can grab the center dot and move it here. And now my axis is down there at the corner, and we can tip. Okay? That's very cool. That makes life easier. Move this way. Now, I cannot spin it more than once. That's not going to work. So you can only spin 180 degrees. Because if you go 
past 180 degrees, all right, let's say go 181 degrees, it's just going to spin her the other way. So it's not recording, it's not recording, you know, which direction you spun. It's going to go the fastest direction to get from point A to point B. Okay? Okay, that was pretty darn cool. I hope you guys all stayed with me there. You right click on your layer and convert to smart object and that opens up a whole world of possibility for you. Uh, we're going to talk about 3D very soon and some other things you can do with your layers. So stay tuned, please subscribe and uh, see you next time.